Uh, so it's great being here. I was last year here as part of the Climate Kick pitch. Since then, pretty much changed, uh, at least the name. And we made huge steps forward. So I want to give you an update on that. But I start in the beginning. So we're in the power grid. The power grid needs to be stable at every time. So when I turn on the light on one hand, a generator somewhere needs to ramp up to provide the power. When I turn the light off again, the generator needs to ramp down so the grid keeps stable. So with these old style generators, uh, it works pretty well. You can control them very accurately. We replace them, as we all know, and we've seen today often enough, but these renewables are a great source for energy, but they cannot keep the grid stable. You cannot control them in a similar way as the conventional generators, so they destabilize the power grid. What we need is new measures to keep the grid stable. And that is, well, one of the reasons why we still have coal power plants running. Um, other measures are demand-side management we've heard about today. Sadly, in our perspective, the potential of demand-side management for real grid stabilization is limited, and we have batteries which are still pretty expensive, even in a longer horizon. So we've been looking for a new technology to do this, and we came up with a very old one, the pottery wheel. Like this ancient technology, we store energy in the rotation of a mass. While taking a pottery wheel and just adding a generator, well, that's kind of a flywheel, but it's not really what we need. So what we did is we used sophisticated materials like carbon fiber, advanced controls, put everything into a high vacuum, and we end up with a 21st century flywheel system. So how do we keep the, stable, the grid stable with this technology? If there's too much power in the grid, we use the flywheel, increase the rotational speed, store energy in the motion, and if there's too little power, we again decrease the speed, feed the energy back into the electricity grid. It took us 35 man years to develop the technology. We're a spin-off of Technical University in Darmstadt, and currently brings this to commercialization. Let's look at the competition. Battery storage systems are by far our strongest competitors. But when you look at the costs, even on a horizon of 2020, with strong decreases in cell costs, we have cost leadership here of about 30%. When you look at sustainability, you can recycle close to 100% of our flywheels. When you look at cycle life, 10,000 cycles with a battery, while there's a million of cycles you can do with a flywheel. So it doesn't really matter whatever you do, how often you charge or discharge it over its lifetime of plus 20 years. Our market is global. We start in Europe and Germany, go to North America in 2021, go to Asia, and if we sum it all up, we end up at a market of 14 billion euro, which is about 40,000 flywheels, or if you're more interested in annual CO2 savings, it's 5.6 billion tons, which is Berlin CO2 emissions for 150 years in one year. We save. Okay, we make money by selling energy storage systems. We have the know-how on the technology, so we design the components. We have partners manufacturing them. We apply or we assemble the storage systems, put our software on it, and bring it to market. We have four founders. I started in 2009. As three of my former students at the university, whether they want to start the company with me. Christian worked for a German utility for two years, so we know our customers very, very well. And then there's Nico and Sebastian pure engineers bringing the system together. We also have an experienced advisory board. While we're a startup, so we do not know everything on starting a company, so we need experts helping us. 2009, we started researching. 2013, first prototype. 2015, second prototype. 2016, we finally founded our company. 2017, this year, we will bring our first two flywheels to Ireland. We already seen a cost reduction of 76% compared to the second prototype on these systems. The future, we have our pilot project, Ireland and England, this year. We'll go into market entry next year, start serious production 2019, ramping up with our fourth project in 2021, reaching break even. And if this sounds good and you're interested, well, our first financing round, we need to start bootstrapping and get bigger. <laughs> so thank you very much. I'm happy to talk to you and see you later.
Thank <laughs> you.